This is the first video for exponents, grade 8. In mathematics, we often find more effective or shorter ways to write something. If you think about addition, and we have the same value that we add a certain number of times, we can write it as 4 times 2. Both these notations give us the same value of 8. And the same applies for variables. In this case, we can write this shorter and say we have 5 times x. So for addition, we can indicate the amount using the coefficient. When we multiply a value a specific number of times, we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 4. This 4 does not now indicate that we multiply by 4, but that we multiply 2 by itself four times. And once again the same goes for variables and here we can say this is the same as x to the power of 5. So when multiplying with the same amount over and over we indicate it in the exponent. In this chapter we are going to focus on this exponential notation. In this notation the a value is called the base number b is the exponent, which indicates the number of a's being multiplied, and the value as a whole is called a power. If we now continue looking at this exponential notation, we can say that 2 is the same as 2 to the power of 1, because we only have 1, 2. 2 to the power of 2 implies that we multiply 2 by itself, which will give us 4. 2 to the power of 3 means we have 2 times by 2 3 times, and 2 times 2 is 4, times another 2 is 8. 2 to the power of 4 will then take that 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, and times it by 2 again, and that will give us 16. It is important to always read the instructions. Sometimes the instruction will say calculate, and then you will have to give your answer as 16. But the instruction can also say leave your answer in exponential form. Then your answer will be 2 to the power of 4. It is very useful if you know the basic squares, which is to the power of 2, and cubes, which is to the power of 3, by heart. In the next few videos, we're going to have a look at the exponential laws, which simplifies calculations.